Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So on the last video, I printed a room box. Now I need to make the floor insert for it. I usually print this as one piece on the Prusa MK4. I started off in a wood color. I just do a color change on the last solid layer to white for the baseboard. I like doing this because it eliminates needing to glue the baseboard in but I wanted to see how the MMU3 would handle the color change for me. I opened the same file in Prusa Slicer. I have the white loaded on Extruder 2, so I changed the default to color everything for me, and then I just changed the top and the face to print on Extruder 4. I then slice it, and notice I am not getting a purge tower because this print takes up too much room, but I assume it's a simple color change and try it out. I immediately get an error and I think it says extruder one. This seems odd because I'm not using extruder one, but I pull out the filament, re-snip the end, reload it, and it starts going. I notice right away that it's printing with extruder one. I thought maybe I clicked the wrong extruder, but I let it print because I wanna see the color change and it never changes. I should have known. How can it change without a purge tower? So I go back into Slicer. You guys had mentioned that I can make a smaller purge tower by changing the wiping settings. I thought maybe if it's small enough, it'll work. I try different variations of these settings, but each time I click Slice, the purge tower disappears. Also, I am noticing that even though it's two colors in the preview screen, it jumps to extruder one and a single color in the slice screen. So I decide to import the baseboard and floor as separate files. I'm hoping I can kind of force it to do two colors. Again, I play around with the wipe settings, but I don't see a purge tower. And when I slice it, it's still showing as solid orange, which is the default extruder one. So I guess I can't print this large on the MMU3, so I pull the same file into Bamboo Studio. I still feel like I don't know where anything is in this slicer, but I do see two colors. So I slice it and get it printing. The slicer had the right colors and the print uses the right colors, but the print colors are backwards. It warps on the corner and the top of the floor has an odd design in it. Neither of these are working. I'm kind of wondering why I didn't just do a color layer change. Uh, I'm looking at these trying to figure out what happened. I hope the warping on the bamboo was a fluke and not an issue because of the speed. Um, I don't know why it has that weird top layer and the MMU3 printed okay, but completely the wrong color and only one color. I go back into Bamboo Studio and try to figure out the odd top layer design. It does look like opening the 3MF file from Prusa Slicer created a weird infill. Strange, because it's not like that at all in Prusa Slicer. So I figure I just need to start over. I import the STL directly into Bamboo Studio. And instead of trying to paint the different surfaces, I change the filament as a layer change. It's super easy to do this. I don't need to remember an odd code number. I just right click and select the color I want. The first time I don't get it at the right height, but I do see that I have the right process. So I just click again at the next layer and then remove the one that's at the wrong layer. Slice again and this is what I want. I also like to change the infill to be straight with the print rather than horizontal. That looks more floor-like. Now, I have noticed that when I click print, I need to check again that the window that pops up does use the colors I already selected. I seem to only have this issue if I'm using non-bamboo filament, and I think I got it right this time. Let's see how the print turned out, and I still hate removing prints from this bed, but I don't see any warping on this. I did get the infill straight without the odd design on the top layer. It still seems a little less smooth than the Mark IV, but it's still very smooth and I think this will work. The color change is where I want it. So now I need to make sure that it's still the correct size and will fit in the room box that I printed on the Mark IV. It is a snug fit, but it does squeeze in without curling up. Let me know if you would run this as a multicolor print or just do a layer change. Thanks for watching.